Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. So, I've had two suggestions. One suggesting a tiger by Luz Torres and the other a cat by Jenny Liz M. And so, I am gonna do a tiger, but the first part is gonna be basically just like a cat look in general. And then I'm gonna add like tiger stripes and just make it more of a tiger. So best of both worlds, kind of. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and I want them to be very, very full and very fluffy. So I am going to do soap brows and I have my pears transparent soap bar and I'm just taking a little spoolie with a little bit of like water or like setting spray and just kind of making like that paste to start to slick up my brows. Okay, so they're pretty fluffed up now. So I'm going to take my brow pen from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade dark brown, yeah. And I'm just gonna make them even more fluffier and kind of make them dramatic, drawing the lines very long. I'm just gonna clean them up with concealer, trying to kind of keep them fluffy. Now I'm going to start with some like brown eyeshadows. I'm gonna start off with these two palettes. I'm gonna use the Foxy Neutrals palette from Too Faced. It's one of their holiday ones and the chocolates palette from Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna start with this brown in the chocolates palette. Applying this to my crease and my outer corner. And I'm gonna start to kind of create like a wing shape. Just lightly blending that out. In the crease directly, I'm going to take like this dark, like espresso brown color. Okay, now I'm going to clean up my crease. Okay, now I'm going to use this gold shimmer from the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. This is the shade Bronze Nebula. Now I'm going to take the shade Lump of Coal, which is that black shade in the Foxy Neutrals palette. And I'm taking it at an angle, kind of sticking with that wing shape, kind of bringing it into the crease a little bit. Okay, I am going to add like a winged liner and it's going to kind of go like far in to create, like really create that cat eye. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye and my foundation really quick. So for my nose, I am taking some bronzer and I want it to be very like prominent. I don't want it to look like a natural like blending into my face, like a natural like sort of contour. I do want it very visible. And I'm gonna take that up into like my brow bringing it down on the side of my nostril. And I'm using this powder bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the shade Mahogany. I think I'm even gonna take a little bit of that lump of coal shade, which is that black that I used on the outer corner. I'm going to take the shade Glow Getter from the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. Okay, now for my lower lash line, I'm going to take that first brown that I started with in the chocolates palette. And I just like packed a good amount on 
to my lower lash line, lightly blending it into that black eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going to do that winged eyeliner. Now I'm going to bring it down to the corner of my eye. Okay, and I'm going to take black underneath, like on my lower lash line, and connect that to the peak. So now I'm going to outline like the shape of my nose. I'm going to fill that in. I'm just taking some black face paint for that. Okay, now I'm going to draw the line down the center of my like Cupid's bow. I'm just outlining my top lip, which is gonna be all black. I'm definitely feeling very lioness right now. I'm gonna draw some whisker. And I am going to take that black paint, go in more underneath my nose and kind of like connecting it to this black. I think I do wanna add like actual whiskers so I'm just gonna take my black liner. And they're mostly gonna be coming from like the outer ones. For my bottom lip, I do want some color. So I'm going to use the shade Mod from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I almost like rubbed my lips together because that's like what I normally do, but I'm so glad that I stopped myself. <laughs> and even like what color eyeshadows you use can definitely change up like the type of look. I use like browns, so I'm getting very like lion like vibes, like I said, but if you can go like all black if you want to be like a, like a black cat. I am going to put in some like green contacts for when I transform myself into a tiger, which I am going to do right now. But first I'm going to throw on some lashes to kind of finish up the like general cat look. So I did my lashes and I also kind of did my hair. Jennifer, the person who requested the cat look, actually sent me this super cute tutorial on how to like make your hair like into like actual like triangle cat ears. I did my best. I didn't have like the little like, cause you're supposed to put like these like little tubes that like you wrap your hair around so it creates that shape. I didn't have that. I only had like um, like straw cleaner, like pipe cleaner. So I tried to use that, but it wasn't strong enough to hold my hair. So I kind of just went for like space buns and then I kind of tried to shape them into triangles and I kind of did my best. Um, they're not perfect, but <laughs> I guess it'll have to do for now. This is like the general finished cat look. Now I'm going to transform it into a tiger. So first thing I'm going to do is like add in some oranges and some like yellow tones, some like yellow shades of eyeshadow. And I'm going to start with the shade Pumpkin Spice in the Pumpkin Spice palette from Too Faced. I'm going to like add that underneath my eye. And I'm going to start adding it to like my forehead area. Kind of going like in a triangular shape. I'm also going to like add a little bit to my chin and my jaw. I'm going to take like a darker orange and I'm going to use the shade Dakar, the Dakar in the um, Afrique palette by Juvia's Place. Okay, now I'm going to take my black liner. I'm going to be using this a lot, obviously, because of all the stripes. So I'm going to start at the peak of like my hairline. And I'm gonna be like kind of pressing with my eyeliner because I want some areas of it to be thick.
Now I'm going to add a little bit of like a white, some white lines to those stripes. And for this lip, I think I want to change it up. I think I want to go a little bit darker. So going for this maroon like lipstick that I've just absolutely been loving. I'm just going to go over on top of this. This is the Make Love to the Camera by MAC. This is the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. It's easily one of my fall favorites. Just for this look, for the tiger look, I'm going to add some uh, strokes into my eyebrows. So I'm just adding a little bit of like brown to some of the orange areas. I felt like the orange was a little bright, a little too like Cheeto-y to me. <laughs> so I'm just toning it down a little bit with some brown eyeshadow. So that is going from like a normalish cat makeup slash like lion makeup to a tiger. And I love, I love animal makeup, especially cat makeup. It's generally pretty easy and you always like feel good afterwards. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, cats are beautiful. So transforming into a cat is always like, it just feels like, it feels good. <laughs> I did try out the green contacts but I just felt like they kind of made me look a little cartoonish. Like I felt like Tony the Tiger. <laughs> so I just uh, overall just ended up just with my normal eyes. This was definitely like a easier look that I have done. The rest of the looks that I have planned are a little bit more, just a little bit more. Hopefully this look will be the last look that I upload late. It is. I have been uploading it like the morning, like super early morning after that the day is actually that I'm doing. So hopefully this will be the last day that that happens because today slash tomorrow, so the 21st, I am going to be filming three looks, two of which are going to be part of a three look video that I'm going to do um, it's it's part of 31 days of Halloween. I'm gonna be doing three random <laughs> Disney characters um, for one video and also tomorrow's or today's video as well. <laughs> I'm gonna also be filming that. So three different videos, two of which are for the next day. So hopefully that will kind of catch me up, get me on track. I definitely do not want to upload the 31st video on the first. <laughs> so we're gonna catch up, we're gonna do this. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to Luz and Jennifer for, for suggesting slash requesting like a cat and tiger look. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.